So tonight, I'm going to go through just a few parts of the Haggadah, explain a little bit about the paragraphs that I'm reading, and then read them with the traditional tune of the Sephardic Syrian community. So in the Magid section, we know the famous question, four questions of Manishtana. We're going to look now about the paragraph of Avadim Hayinu. Avadim Hayinu is the paragraph which is the answer to the question of Manishtana. Basically, the Mishnah tells us, Mathil bignut umesayem beshebach. You start the answer to the story with the negative, that we were Avadim in Mitzrayim, and it goes to the positive about us leaving Egypt and getting the Torah. Avadim ayinu lefaro be Mitzrayim, payosi enu Adonai Eloheinu misham, beyad hazaka umizrawa netuya, ve'ilu lo si akadosh baruchu et avotenu min Mitzrayim adayin, Anu ubanenu ubne banenu meshubadim hayinu lefaro be misraim fa afilu kulanu hachamim kulanu nebonim kulanu yod aimeta tora bizva alenu le saper bisiat misraim ve hola marbele saper bisiat misraim hareze meshubah. Now moving further on into the Hagada after the Arba Abanim, the four sons, we now take another opinion that says that the answer to Manishtana, to why we're doing all these different things, is a more spiritual answer, that we were once of the Avodah Zarah. Mitehila of the Avodah Zarah, hayu avotenu, ve'achshav kerevanu amakom la'avodato, Shenemar, by Yomer Yehoshua, El Kolaam, Koamar Adonai Elohe Israel, the Aiber Hanar, Yashiva Boteche Meolam, Tera, Abi Abraham, Abi Nahor, by Abdu, Elohim Aherim. Now, this paragraph, Hisha Amda, some people say Vehisha Amda, is a critical part of the Haggadah in that we're declaring that in every generation, you have enemies that want to wipe us out. And in every generation, God saves us. And the minhag is that we cover the masot and we hold the cup in our right hands. And now the final thing that we will look at for tonight is the famous declaration of Rabban Gamliel who said that one must say these three things on Haga Pesach must discuss them as well so we'll see a paragraph for each one of these three of Pesach, Masa, Umarot Rabban Gamliel haya omer, kol mi shelo amar, shelo shadevarim elu ba Pesach, lo yasa yede chovato, ve elu hen Pesach, masa umaror. Now, the minhag is not to raise up the zerawah, the shank bone, but to just look at it and then speak about the korban ha Pesach. Pesach sheayu avotenu ochel imizman shebet hamidash kayam al shuma al shum shepasach hakadosh baruchu al vate avotenu be misraim shenemar vamartem sevach pesach ul adonai shepasach al vate mizne ben israel be misraim ben achuah misraim bet vate nu isil vayikod ha'am vayistachavu. Then we speak about why we eat masa. And keep in mind, this also answers the Manishtana question that we had. Why are we eating masa? So we give the reasons of the fact that we were kicked out of Misraim and we did not have time for the dough to rise. And the minhag is to raise up the masa, show it to the people around the table, and then speak about it. 
מסע זו שאנו אוכלים על שומה, על שום שלא הספיק פסחם של אבותינו להחמיץ עד שנכלה עליהם מלך מלכי המלכים הקדוש ברוך הוא וחלה מיד שנעמד ויופו את הבסק אשר הוסיעו ממצרים ורות מסות כי לא חמץ כי חורש הוא ממצרים ולא יחלו להתמהמה וגם סדה לא עשו להם. And finally here מרור which again answers the question why are we tonight eating מרור Again, we raise up the maror, we show it to the people around the table, and then we say, Maror ze she'anu ochelim al shuma, al shum shemaranu am misriim, et haye avotenu b'misraim, shenemar, v'maranu et hayem, v'avoda kasha, v'chomeru bilbenim, u'bchol avoda basade, e'kol avoda tam asher avadu b'hem, b'farech.